So you bought some rubber bands. Great, but now you gotta know what to do with them. So I'm gonna show you the biggest or the best adaptations for exercises that you might not be able to do without them and they can help you or they can toughen it up for you and you have a great banging workout. So this will be your catalog. Let's say you have a thin one and a medium one and you can do some willow foo with them. <laughs> let's start with the king of all home exercises. The push-up. If you're, let's say you can only do one or two push-ups, there is a way of using this in order to be able to do much more and not always keep doing them with your knees on the floor. So this, so you're gonna get the thin rubber band, you're gonna double it down like this. And you're gonna do sort of a slingshot. So you're gonna put your arms inside, really at the beginning of your shoulders. And from here, it's even gonna help you bounce a little bit. So it's gonna really take off like 30% of the strength that you need to do the push-up. So from here, once you did one or two push-ups, but now you can do like eight, 10, it's bouncy. Or if you're more advanced, you can use it behind your back like this on the crease of the elbows in order not to happen this, Woo! for this not to happen. And there, there you're gonna have a lot more resistance and it's gonna be tougher. So number one, done. Now for the pull-ups, let's say you have a bar at home and you're strong enough and you can do a couple of pull-ups. It's okay, you got a great workout, but if you have a hard time doing the pull-ups, you can use the rubber bands. I recommend the medium rubber band, like the purple or the green one, and then you can just place it on the bar, put your strongest, ah, strongest foot on top of the rubber band, hang yourself, ah, and put the other foot in front in order not to have any accidents, like, whipping motion. Here you go. So here, and go all the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. This will help you tremendously. Or if you don't have a high bar, what you can do is you can just place the rubber band in front of you, either uh, upper or uh, in front, of, actually in front of you or a little lower. You can do it on the banister, on, on your uh, balcony, for example. Put your hand inside, roundabout, don't, Grip it too hard, you don't have to. It's pretty much leveraged. And from here, you're gonna go all the way back. Feel the tension, feel the stretching on your uh, lats. Bend over to the front so that you get this really nice position as if you were vertically pulling. And then you pull your elbow to your, um, to your hip. So the elbow is doing the movement. Let's say you wanna head, elbow butt somebody in order to really work those lats. So this is the other way in which you can do or work the exact muscles of the pull-up at home. So this was the vertical pulling. So now for the horizontal pulling, you just gotta put the rubber band parallel, okay? The, the, the ends will be parallel, and you're gonna step on it right at the center with maybe a palm away, and you're gonna grab the handles, you're gonna lean forward as if you were doing a barbell, horizontal row. And from here, you're gonna pull all the way with your elbows tucked in tight, and there you have a great workout as well. So I recommend you start with a thin one, and then when you progress and get stronger, go to the medium one. See, I made them dips fun. Ooh, I got a filthy and dirty tricep pump. <sighs> nice! Let's finish off with the legs. And I left the legs for the bottom part. Why? Because I know that with leg workouts or with leg exercises done at home, you're gonna have to increase the poundage in order to get a good workout. Because you're not gonna do 50 of these. I mean, you can do them, but it's not a strength workout. What you can do is, let's start with the deadlift because it's one of the most neglected exercises. A lot of people are not working their glutes and their hamstrings and their lower back properly. <clears throat> let's start with good mornings. You're gonna put the rubber band right behind your neck. You're gonna place on the feet right at the midfoot, uh, uh, hip width apart, and from here, you're just gonna do this uh, hinge position, bending at the hip, your glutes are going backwards, and then come back up using 
glute strength. So one and two, one and two. Keep your back straight and you can use a couple of rubber bands which, which will increase the load and therefore the suck. Another way to do it is put them parallel to each other, step on them, remember the palm width or the hip width apart. And from here, you're gonna grab the handles and go all the way up, come down. And all the way up, come down, yeah. Mm. Feel those hamstrings burning, mm. yeah. And then my personal favorite, one-legged deadlift. I, will, I like to put my back foot on top of a sofa, a chair, whatever. Make sure it's uh, padded. And from here, instead of doing a Bulgarian with a little wider position, you're gonna just have your front knee just a little bit in front of the other knee. So in order for you to do this hip hinge motion like this and not do this. So you're not going down, you're going forward like this. One and two, okay? Your butt never lowers. So you can do either with the handles or like this. One, two, place the foot, and from here, hinge and come back. Hinge and come back. So it's a little bit tougher and my personal favorite to do at home. And then of course you have the squats, pretty basic. Put it all the way back, step on it, a little wider position, and then go all the way down and come back up. Try to keep your knees to the outside and one and two, pretty easy to follow. Or you can do the Bulgarian split squat in which you have a little bit wider stance than the deadlift here because when you go down, I want you to keep this perfect 90 degree angle here and never put the knee over the toes and you can do exactly the same thing. One and two, pa, pa, pa. Okay, this really forces you to be quick when you go up. So you got a great banging workout. Now, I believe this video will be very handy for you. Why? Because I'm pretty sure that you know how to work your triceps and your biceps with the rubber bands, but pretty much everything else maybe you're not doing. And the deadlifts and the hinge movements and the, the way it help you with the push-ups. I mean, I really hope this helps because you really can have a great workout only using the rubber band. So here you have all the patterns of exercise readily available to you and you have no excuse because it's not like you're buying a whole machine set for you to have at home. Louis, give me the whip. I can't stand this guy anymore. Oh, oh yeah. Come help me.